Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Tinker's Cart Art here. I've missed you all. It was a crazy time at Christmas. I know we had some painting um, beforehand, but today I am jumping back in. I don't know if you saw on the Facebook page, we are doing a little survey on a canvas painting we're going to do shortly. You can take a look and pick which one you'd like to paint and maybe everyone seems to like both. Maybe we'll paint both. But today I thought I would pop on because I have some new ceramic pieces. Hi, Patty. Hi, Stephanie. Um, and I thought they'd be really cute for, for Valentine's Day. I know. Hey, Lorraine. Merry Christmas. Late. Happy New Year. Thanks for popping in. Um, I'm taking all my Christmas down, sadly, and it looks pretty empty. So I want to do some Valentine's pieces to put out. And I've got a cute uh, couple pieces I'm painting today, which I will show you. And I'll show you what I've done so far. I've just painted the whole ceramic piece black, just with an acrylic. Again, the acrylics I use, uh, different brands. They're just a the little, um, usually like the little two ounce bottles. They come bigger. I use a variety of brands. I, I'm using right now what I can find. Um, I know sometimes it's a little harder to find some of the paints, but just acrylic paints on ceramic bisque. They do not have to be fired again. You are, uh, they've already been fired, they're bisque. So I'm painting them and then spraying them with a high gloss spray. So you get that little bit of a shiny finish, um, not quite a glazed finish, but for little decorative pieces like this, we're not using them for food or anything. These um, paints work really fun because you can paint them at home. These are great for the big kids and the little kids. I've got a lot of ceramic kits I'm making up today and I will put them out. But right now I wanted to go through this little set. So it's going to be a little love um, wording and I'm gonna sit it next to this adorable penguin, which I thought would be really cute painted up with some little hearts on his belly. And you could display them together. They could be on your mantle or as a little centerpiece. And I'm gonna go through that with you. And I'm just going to show you real quick. I know you might have seen our little penguin Christmas ornament. So this is the sort of the technique why it's all painted black is I just dry brush the colors on top here. So this white is maybe two of three colors just dry brushed on top of the black. I like the way it leaves a little bit of dark in um, underneath your colors and it's just a nice technique. It, it's a lot less work than trying to paint in all the little nooks and crannies perfectly with a little brush. Hi, Laurie. Miss you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Let's make a plan um, as soon as we can this year to get together. So anyway, I'm going to move my camera down so you can just watch what I'm doing because you don't need to be seeing my big face right there in front, on your, on your uh, screen. And I'll try to watch the comments. So if you have any questions, put them in. If I miss it, I'll go back and I will answer them later. I haven't made up um, I'm going to do these as a kit. So if you would like the both of the ceramic pieces, the brushes, the paints, and the little palette is all $20. And um, I will get them up on my PayPal site so you can purchase them. But if it's something that you'd like, just send me a message in the meantime and I will get um, the information to you. Hi, Anne. Hey, you guys are great for all popping on on a Monday. I appreciate it. Thank you. So... If I miss something, ask a question. I'm going to move the camera now so you can watch me paint. And let's paint some. Okay, I'm going to try to get it so you can see. And so I'm going to start. The colors we're going to use today really are just red and pink. I've got a little white out on my palette, some black for some details, a little blue for the penguin's eyes. I'm just using a variety of um, synthetic brushes. You don't really want to use an expensive sable brush for this sort of work. The ceramic bisque is a little hard on your brushes. And these acrylic uh, brushes are pretty inexpensive. Um, I am going to include them in your kit, though, if you are interested. But if you take care of them and clean them up and wash them properly, they'll last you a long, long time. So I'm going to, on this piece, the love here, I'm just going to paint the letters red. Because it's on black, it will take a few coats, so we'll start now. Let the paint dry, then we'll work on our penguin. So I am just taking a flat brush. And again, when you're painting, use whatever brush is comfortable for you. If I'm doing a little bigger area, a more um, space as I go, just going along the top edge. I'm not having to worry too much about a perfect little line. Just do your top edge and that will just leave your edges black. I get a little stuff. And Christmas mode and into something Valentine's and we can look ahead to spring. How I, I, um, how was everybody's Christmas holiday? We all made it through. It was a little different, but um, 
but we're still plugging along. So I'm gonna put this coat on just the tops of the letters, let it dry. Probably will take two or three coats. I don't mind if a little of the black shows through, it shows a little character, but I do want it to have a little better coverage than this. And like I mentioned, the paints, um, I will include, if you want a kit, I'll paint, put the paints in there. I know paints are a little bit harder to come by these days. And I'm going to put you up on my computer here. So if I see any questions from you guys, I can answer them as we go. So let me get to my page here. That way I'll uh, please holler out any questions or anything that, um, you know, you're wondering about. Anybody get some nice crafting done at Christmas and painting and whatnot? I did a little bit, not as much as I'd like, so I decided that it's going to be a Christmas in July year. I'm going to start early. I have so many projects I'd like to share with everyone. I just did not get to them this year. It was just kind of crazy. And I'm still working on Christmas things, actually. I just finished painting some ornaments yesterday and some little snowmen, which, I don't know. I think snowmen we can put out now. So I think I will do a few uh, snow. I have a really cute snowman painting holding a heart for Valentine's Day. That might be a nice canvas project. I'll post that and see what you guys think. Let me know. There, okay, I'm up on the computer, so I can see what you're saying a little easier than try to see on my phone. Hey, Lorraine, I like that distressed look, too. It's a little vintage -y. I kind of like it. And it really, I do so many dry brush projects. It really, it keeps you from having to paint all the tiny details in, and it's a nicer look, I think. Now, of course, you guys are welcome to paint this any way you want. You could paint each letter a different color, a different shade of pink or red, or whatever you like. That would be perfectly fine. I think it would look nice as well. I really love it when you kind of put your own spin on things and, and go, you know, take a little instruction, but then go for it. It, it, it. It's what makes the world go round, everybody having a different take on things. It would be pretty boring if they all looked like mine. Actually, this first coat is not bad. I, I, I probably maybe only need two on this, so we'll, we'll try it out. I don't really have one of these to copy. I'm sort of making it up in my head. I have a little vision. You guys do that too, I bet. Kim, I know if you're still watching, you have a great vision. You are so creative and have so many cool projects going. And there. I'm leaving a little space in between the letters. Again, you can see I'm using a big brush. I'm not getting real detail with a tiny little brush doing every little bit and piece. I'm just kind of winging it. And that is drying pretty quickly, as you can see. This is pretty much dry already. So I am going to let that dry a little bit. And luckily, because he's a lot of black on him, brush his body in a white. I'm gonna use another little flat brush, I think, just because it will cover a little better for me. When you are doing on my palette and kind of wipe my brush off a little bit. I'd rather go on to the piece with a lighter touch. I'm gonna get my other little penguin out so I can copy ears. Rather than putting on a real heavy to begin with and spread my paint out a little bit. I'm not going too far into the little crevices because I like that dark that's gonna stay there. Of course, he's gonna be dark all around, but you'll see what I mean when I... So some areas aren't covered perfectly. It's a dry brush technique. The brush is pretty dry, as you can see. Look at my strokes. There's hardly any paint there. That's why I take the paint on the palette and pull it towards me and wipe some off. I'd rather have a few light coats, leaving it a little streaky in places, than having it too solid. And um, white's not bad, but some of your darker colors would be a little harder to cover. So I'm just kind of very lightly going along up to the edges. Again, I'm not using a little detail brush and, and fussing and worrying too much. I'm kind of just going quick and feel free to throw anything any questions or anything in the comments I'll while I'm waiting for some things to dry I'll, I'll give you a little peek at some of the other ceramic pieces I've got some cute little kits I'm making up today uh, they could be for kids they could be for grown-ups like I said but I have some cute things for the little ones uh, I got a great little ceramic snake there which is going to be so cool to be honest I'm tempted to paint him white and put red hearts all over him 
I'm gonna switch to a bigger brush because I think it will just give me a better look there. So the snake with the hearts, all of my pieces, I'm thinking, oh, that little dinosaur, wouldn't it be cute painted red with uh, for Valentine's? I don't wanna paint all my ceramics for Valentine's as much as I would like to, I'm not going to, but use your imagination. And uh, all of the kits will come with a little link to the video. So this kit will have a little QR code and a link to the video. It'll be on Facebook and YouTube and you can follow along and, um, you know, see how I'm doing it. But again, go ahead and just do your own thing as well. I'm switching up my brushes a little bit. They're all flats, but I'm just using a variety of sizes just to see what works best. And the other kits that I'm going to show you, I don't have the video made, but I think I'll make, they're very simple. So I think I'll make some little time-lapse videos just to give the kids some ideas. And they don't even need ideas. They just go right on ahead and and do a great job. So you can see the first coat. It's a little bit here and there, it's not perfect. And you can now build it up as heavy as you want. I might just put a little heavier just to highlight a little bit in the middle. If you prefer, you could cover it up more. You don't have to have it just uh, with the black showing through. But I kind of like that antique look. What do, you, what do you guys think? What do you like? Do you like the antique look or would you rather see that all solid white? like to hear some opinions. Okay, this is dry. We may, like I said, be good with just one more coat of red. So let's put that on and see how it dries. And at the end, you mightn't see me do this, but I use uh, a Mod Podge high gloss spray, or you could use a Krylon or any sort of a gloss spray if you want a shiny finish on your ceramics. I like to do that outside. You don't want to paint, you don't want to uh, spray your pieces in, indoors, but I'm going to go ahead afterwards, spray them up, I will post the pictures of the finished the finished piece. The kits all come with a nice uh, photograph of the piece all done. And like I said, it comes with the QR code to the video. Comes with your brushes and everything you need to paint these pieces. So if you're interested or want to paint with the kids, please, I'll have the little kits made up today and I'd be happy to drop them off to you if you're local or send them if you're not. Or if you can get your ceramics, you know, there's plenty of little ceramic places around. Feel free to see what they have. And I'm always here to answer any questions you have about painting them. I just thought it would be nice now, we were still in a little bit more than we would like, to have some craft projects, especially with the kids. I love pulling out things my son made when he was little. And it just brings back memories, and they can date the back, and maybe each child could paint one of the little pieces. It'd be fun. So I'm going to ask you guys what you think about this second coat and if you think we need a third. Hope everybody had a nice holiday and I'll wish you all a happy new year. Let's hope for bigger and better things this year. But I'll still be crafting along. I, I'm really enjoying the classes. We um, I had a big group for the canvas painting classes, and you know, I don't even think I posted all the pictures that people sent me of their projects. So watch the page. I'll get a little bit more active on that now after the new year, and uh, I'll post some of those projects from people that painted. All righty, so that's the little love heart. I might do a quick little third coat, but let's work on our little guy. I'm a little penguin now. The only thing, um, there's not many colors. There's not much to him. We're going to put orange for his feet, orange for his beak. And again, like with the black undercoating, you will find you might need to do a few coats. But I think, I, I, like, the, I like the technique on ceramics. You guys might remember if you were watching before that I grew up. My mom had a ceramic shop for many years as a kid. And back in the day, remember, there was one on every every corner. Everybody was making the Christmas trees and the and the Santas and the planters and the ashtrays and the mugs. It was really fun. So this is this is kind of fun for me. It's bringing back a lot of memories. I really uh, hadn't painted ceramics in a long while, so I'm kind of glad they're back. I've been ordering them and painting them, making them up into kits, having classes. We did a lot, as you probably, you might have seen on the page with the vintage, the truck, and the tree. People loved that. That piece, I, I, I was really surprised how popular it, it still is. And I just ordered in, I'm going to paint that next. I ordered in some of the trucks. They don't have the trees. So it's a little vintage truck and uh, the back is empty. So what I'm going to do is paint it up for Valentine's, 
and I went to Michael's and got some little hearts, little glittery hearts and little fabric felt hearts, and I'm gonna fill the bed up with those. I, I have a little, again, a vision in my head how I'm gonna paint it, and I'll probably do that later today or tomorrow. And uh, again, those will be offered as a kit if you wanna paint your own or have a paint party. It's a little simpler than the one with the tree and the lights. It doesn't light up, it's just a little truck. But these little pieces all on, on your mantle or on your table um, would be a nice little seasonal display and it'll brighten it up. I know I have a lot of empty spaces now that I've just taken my decorations and my tree down. I have to be honest, I was tempted to leave my tree up and decorate it for Valentine's, but I just don't have enough decorations yet, so maybe someday. So you can you see, I just went from one side to the other, painted his little beak. It's pretty black still, so we'll just let it dry, do another coat. Now, we do want his little features, like his eyes, solid. So we will. I will paint in now, get my tiny little brush here. So his little eyes, we do want to be white, not just dry brushed. So I'm just gonna paint in the whites of his eyes. <laughs> And then when that's dry, we'll give him some little blue eyes. And his eyes will be a little more detailed. You want that on these little guys. They have, they have a little personality with their eyes. I'll show you the finished eye on the ornament so you can see. We'll just paint a little blue eye, a little black pupil. Give him a little white highlight. It kind of makes him come alive a little bit. And I didn't really do all the way in there. I should have. My readers, I'm, I'm, my eyes are, are, are getting a little worse, and so my readers are not quite strong enough. I have bought some new ones, and they do the job, but I've misplaced them. So, anyway. Oh, hey, Brenda. Glad you're on. Denise. Thank you guys for popping in. I just do this last minute. I just jump in. Uh, I know I sometimes announce it, but lots of times I just jump in because you can always watch it later on. Uh, the, the video will be there. I, I always take my videos too and put them on my YouTube channel. So you can always find them on YouTube if you're not a, you know if you're not on Facebook or you know someone who wants to participate but isn't on Facebook. I am not taking too much time here. I'm just giving a quick third coat just to brighten it up a bit before I think I'll put little hearts on here. I'll show you a little uh, one stroke heart to make, which is pretty easy and fun to do. And I have been promising to do some classes on the one stroke painting where you could paint your whole flower and your leaves and whatnot just in one stroke, which is kind of neat. It takes a little practice, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect, although we don't even strive for perfect. Perfect is a little overrated. If it was perfect, it would look like it was machine made and you want it to look like you made it. So, anywho. I'm excited about painting that track though and to show you some of the other ceramic pieces. I mostly geared these other ones towards kids, but like I said, they appeal to kids of any age. Okay, so after this dries, we are going to put on some little hearts. And like I said, you, when you're painting it at home, you could do whatever you like. It does not have to, let me move these down so you can see them. It doesn't have to look like mine. It would be fun to see all your ideas. His little eyes are probably dry now. So when I do some little eyes on these little guys and little people and creatures and things, just put in a color, like I like the blue or green or whatever color you like. And just a circle inside the eye. Just a little circle. He's already coming alive there, my little penguin. Our little Valentine's penguin. Actually, it'd be a nice little gift to cheer someone up, too. One of these little guys painted. They can be personalized. All the pieces can always be personalized. And a lot of times, if you want, a paint marker does the trick. You don't even have to try to paint it on. You could use a paint marker or a Sharpie. So we'll let those um, little eyes dry and put a quick little coat on again of the orange for his beak. Has anyone painted any ceramics this Christmas? I had an awful lot of people ordering and painting trees and trucks and things. And I posted a lot. If you look back on the page, you'll see a lot of the pictures of the trees posted. And they were painted all sorts of ways. Not just green with the snow. They were rainbow and multicolor and silver and gold. Really fun, fun um, ideas if you want to take a look for some ideas for next year. Or for our Christmas in July, because really I'm gonna go big time into Christmas in July. We need it, make up for some of the projects I missed this year. Yeah. 
and some ideas for other projects. You guys, uh, throw some ideas my way. It's been a while since I've done too many of the canvases. We did a really fun little canvas before Christmas, but I've got lots of ideas. And wood signs. The ceramics are fairly new, but those have been fun. But if you have any ideas, I think, oh, glass painting. We're going to do some wine glasses, which will be fun. Uh, you bake them in your oven with, you know, it's still a paint you can buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but you can fire it, paint, uh, bake it in your oven a little bit, and then it will be dishwasher safe. Those have been fun. I'm going to do some little gnome glasses and some little winter ones. And some watercolor eventually. I'm putting together some ideas for some watercolor classes. People have been interested in that. A little second coat on the orange is all I just did. Now, a little wet on his eyes, but you know what? I think we can get the little pupils in there. And if you would like a little trick to make the little dots whenever you're painting something, is just take the back end of your brush, dip it in your color, and look at that. You get perfect little circles. So you can try doing that. If you're a little bit unsure of how to get a perfect circle, you just put those little dip each time. You get a nice little black pupil in his eyes. To finish him off, a little white highlight. Again, you could use a little toothpick uh, to do that, but I'm just going to use the brush. Put a little white dot, upper right-hand corner, say like 2 o'clock. It doesn't really matter where the highlight goes, but just make it the same on each eye. That would be your trick. So I just go like 2 o'clock, a little dot, 2 o'clock, a little dot. And he's looking, he's looking like he's getting a little personality, our little penguin. I finish off by a little line up on top of his eye. When I'm doing some fine line work like that, I always just thin my paint down. Paint's been out a little while. It's a little thicker than it was. And you will find you can make a nice detail line a lot easier if your paint flows along like ink and not thick. So we're going to take... And again, bear with me because I am wearing the wrong readers. So God only knows what this is going to look like. But I just do a little outline in the little groove that's already there. So you're just following. Your brush is just in that little groove right there that's already there. And not perfect. Again, we're not striving for perfect. At this point, and you guys are painting your pieces, you could look at them and decide what you would like to do. More red, more white, less, whatever. This is where I like the way he looks. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do my hearts on this love and I'm thinking just maybe just a little heart on his chest. I think that's probably enough and they're going to be awfully cute sitting together. I've got out a couple of uh, shades. I I've got red and then I've got some pink there. I may just want to, just so that it's the same color family, I may just want to mix some white with my red and get a pink. This is looking a little hot pink to me. I may or may not use it. I always, I don't always have a plan and um it's kind of fun to fly by the seat of your pants sometimes and see what works. So I'm glad uh, that you don't mind just watching over my shoulder as I do that because I really don't have a plan or a finished product to copy. I've just taken white right into my red paint with my brush. I'm adding water because again, I want it to flow a little nicer and it's been sitting out, it's a bit thick. These little hearts, I just do in two strokes. And I'll show, I'll do a few, and then I'll show you a little uh, up close. Hey, Bev. Hey, Carol. Okay, I'm going to see if you can see me, but again, I'm going to try to do it a little closer for you, too. I just take my brush. It's a round, probably like a size two. I press and come to a point. So there's half of heart, and then I press and bring it down this way. So let me come a little closer so that maybe you can see a little better. I'm just going to scatter these here and there. And this... The brush strokes take a little practice. Practice on your paper or your cardboard or your palette. Press, pull, press, pull. It's like a little comma stroke. Press and then just have a little tail. I'm going to scatter these on here and there. Press, pull, press, pull. I think I'll scatter a few and then I'm going to go back and change the color a bit. So can you see that okay? Can you guys see that I'm just pressing, pulling to one side, pulling to the other? I have mine all facing pretty much up. If you wanted, you could put them upside down and here and there, wherever you'd like. And I think I'm gonna make some much lighter too. So I'm gonna just get scatter these with some space so I could put a few in. Usually when you're doing anything like with the brush strokes like this, you really have to Keep reloading your paint. I am getting both sides with one 
brush load of paint. But for the next one, I will go and get more paint. Press and pull, press and pull. If it feels like it's getting a little bit draggy on you, add a little water. Press and pull. I know it looks easy. I know it's probably a little harder than it looks, but it really is a little bit of practice. And um, there's all sorts of things you can make once you get your little brush strokes under control. Flowers, leaves, whatnot. Okay, so because I want to just mix it up a bit, I am going to take now a little more white. I want a few that are just a little lighter pink. And I did um, decide to not go with this. It might look very similar, but this has just got a bit of a coolness to it, a little bit of a blue purpley coolness to it, where this is a little warmer. So I'm going to make a lighter pink by just mixing the white and um, with it. Now, here's the thing is I, I'll try it on the piece. If it doesn't look much different, I'll add more white. It's a little lighter. It's a little lighter. It's okay. But you can just adjust as you go. There's no way you would know until you put it right on here. I think it adds a little pop with, with the uh, two shades of pink. And I am just spacing them here and there. I don't have a plan. I'm just winging it. What do you guys think of the hearts on the love? I think I like it. I think it'll be a nice little display on my mantle. It's not, I don't need too many more. I think maybe I'll just finish up with that one. So that's pretty much finished now. Once it's sprayed with the gloss spray and is shine up, I think it's going to really be um, even a little brighter and, 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 a, and a little more appealing to me. So I will take some pictures once they're sprayed, like I said, and um, show those to you. And this guy, really, we just need a little bit of uh, a little heart on his chest. You could do hearts all over his belly, but for some reason, I'm just thinking this. I might even like that more red, so it goes with the background. It's all up to you. So this is how I would display this little guy. I I'm gonna move this because I have wet paint there. And I just want you to see it. So I would sit him on my shelf just like that together. How cute is that? And it's handmade and you made it yourself. And how long did it take us? We haven't been painting long at all. It's pretty speedy. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to show you a few of the pieces. Hey, Jim. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Kim. Becky, you ate it. And these little guys are done, but let me show you some of the other pieces I'm going to do as kits. And like I said, they're sort of geared for the kids, but I'm going to have some grown-up ones too. Or who doesn't want to paint a little unicorn anyways? But the truck, I'm going to paint later, and I'll show you that. But now these are just the bisque pieces. So I was going to do little sets. So we've got the little unicorn and the little pegasus. They're cute. They're little. They don't need a lot of space. They're not going to take up the whole room. But I think the kids would love them. And wouldn't those be great as a little birthday party favor? Or if you're having a birthday party for one of the kids, you could do these little kits. Even if you couldn't be together, you could Zoom them all. All the kids could get together, paint their own. We've got, this is my favorite, of course, anyway. Little dragon, uh, no, dinosaur. Look at, how cute is he? Actually, wouldn't he be cute? Painted for Valentine's, holding a little heart. I could go crazy with the Valentine's things. I'm not because Valentine's will come and go before I know it, but he would be cute. And same with the snake. Look at this guy. Now, painted white with hearts all over him. I'm dying to do that, but little rattler. So I'm going to do little sets. So you could do the little snake and the dino. You could do the two, the pegasus and the unicorn. We've got, oh, this guy. This is a bank, the shark bank. Look at him. And he's got the little stopper. So you paint him and you can put the money in his teeth there and uh, he'd be adorable and yes I would paint him for Valentine's but I'm not going to these little guys are banks as well they're monsters they are the cutest thing I'm picturing them painted brightly colored with some black and white stripes and polka dots I love these guys stoppers on the bottom put the money in their mouth save up your change and then a few gnomes little gnome stackables these guys are cute. It's all about the gnomes these days and this little guy. So I'm going to put them together as kits. Like I said, it would include the brushes, the paints, the palette, everything you need. So you could hop right in and um, have a nice little project on something to do on the weekend or with the kids or, or without the kids. <laughs> and I will show you um, next time. I'm going to paint a little later. I'm not even sure when. I'll just pop on. Like I said, you can always catch the videos and do that Valentine's truck. So, and then we have a few Valentine's 
things to, for, for decor. Gnome. Oh, I've got some wooden gnomes I'm doing with Valentine's. Those are adorable. I'll show you them. I won't keep you any longer. I really appreciate you popping in. Um, Tabitha. Yeah, I can ship them for you too. And hey, Doreen. So yes, I'm making up the kits today. I will deliver them to you if you're local or you're welcome to pick them up, but I can also ship them. It's no problem. So uh, just private message me. And once I get the link to purchase up, uh, I'll add that. But in the meantime, just, just message me and I can um, let you know how you can get some. So anyways, thank you guys again. Good to see you. Happy 2021. This is my first video. Uh, I will be a little more active now that Christmas is behind us. So I really appreciate it. Hey, Becky, just send me a private message and I will send you a link and you can buy it that way. Any questions in the comments I missed, I will go ahead and um, address them. Hey, Doreen, Happy New Year to you and your family. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.